Rabies. Rabies is a zoonotic disease caused by the rabies virus of the lysovirus genus within the family Rhabdoviridae. Rabies virions are bullet shaped with 10 nanometer spike like glycoprotein peplomas covering the surface. Rabies is the classic zoonotic infection spread from animals to humans. It is endemic in a variety of animals worldwide, except in Australia. Rabies is maintained and spread in two ways. In urban rabies, dogs are the primary transmitter, and in sylvatic rabies, many species of wildlife can serve as transmitters. In the United States, rabies is more prevalent in cats because they are not vaccinated. Virus containing aerosols, bites, and scratches from infected bats also spread the disease. However, the principal reservoir for rabies in most of the world is the dog. Initially, the virus multiplies in skeletal muscle and connective tissue, where it remains localized for periods ranging from days to months. Then, it enters a motor neuron and travels at the rate of 15 to 100 millimeters per day along peripheral nerves to the central nervous system, where it causes encephalitis. In some extreme cases, incubation periods of as long as six years have been reported, but the average is 30 to 50 days. Bites in areas rich in nerve fibers, such as the hands and feet, are especially dangerous, and the resulting incubation period tends to be short. After a long but highly variable incubation period, the prodrome phase of rabies ensues. The patient has symptoms such as fever, malaise, headache, pain, or itching at the site of the bite, gastrointestinal symptoms, fatigue, and anorexia. The prodrome usually lasts 2 to 10 days, after which the neurologic symptoms specific to rabies appear. Hydrophobia, the most characteristic symptom of rabies, occurs in 20% to 50% of patients. It is triggered by the pain associated with the patient's attempts to swallow water. Focal and generalized seizures, disorientation, and hallucinations are also common during the neurologic phase. Paralysis may be the only manifestation of rabies and may lead to respiratory failure. The patient becomes comatose after the neurologic phase, which lasts from 2 to 10 days. This phase almost universally leads to death, resulting from neurologic and pulmonary complications. The occurrence of neurologic symptoms in a person who has been bitten by an animal generally establishes the diagnosis of rabies. Unfortunately, evidence of infection including symptoms and the detection of antibody does not occur until it is too late for intervention. Laboratory tests are usually performed to confirm the diagnosis and determine whether a suspected individual or animal is rabid. Antigen detection using direct immunofluorescence or genome detection using reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction are relatively quick and sensitive assays that are the preferred methods for diagnosing rabies. Samples of saliva are easy to test, but serum, spinal fluid, skin biopsy material from the nape of the neck, brain biopsy or autopsy material and impression smears of corneal epithelial cells can also be examined. Infected cells will have intracytoplasmic inclusions consisting of aggregates of viral nucleocapsids, negri bodies, in affected neurons. Although their finding is diagnostic of rabies, negri bodies are seen in only 70 to 90% of brain tissue from infected humans. Post-exposure prophylaxis is the only hope for preventing overt clinical illness in the affected person. Although human cases of rabies are rare, approximately 20,000 people receive rabies prophylaxis each year in the United States alone. Prophylaxis should be initiated for anyone exposed by bite or by contamination of an open wound or mucous membrane to the saliva or brain tissue of an animal suspected to be infected with the virus unless the animal is tested and shown not to be rabid. The first protective measure is local treatment of the wound. The wound should be washed immediately with soap and water or another substance that inactivates the virus. Anti-rabies immunoglobulin is injected near the wound. 
Subsequently, four immunizations with rabies vaccine are administered within two weeks, with one initial dose of human rabies immunoglobulin. Passive immunization with human rabies immunoglobulin provides antibody until the patient produces antibody in response to the vaccine. The slow course of rabies disease allows active immunity to be generated in time to afford protection. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.